Today, we're going to see if we can plow all these fields together and make one massive field. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are going to be making our way over to the Goham Co. Because today, we have got a little bit of work to do. We're going to take fields 14, 15, 16, and 17 and plow them all together. Before we can do that, however, we are going to have to buy those fields. So do you keep that in mind? Let's go ahead and cut these on while we're at it. I love that we get some beacons on top of this thing. It's so cool. Ooh, we're flying too. We're going real fast. 74. Right top that 74, isn't it? Yep, right about there. So again, we're doing that. We've got John Deere over here. As you guys saw, we went all New Holland yesterday. So we're going to be getting back. Oh, go crash. Rip. <laughs> Rips in the chat. We're going to be jumping in and we're going to be, I think, maybe just get an ADAR. Something easy, nothing too crazy. Maybe something with floaters. And uh, we've got a plow over here as well. Of course, we took that stop sign out. Why wouldn't we? We take that stop sign out every time we make that turn. Let's park in the boss. Let's park in spot right here. And boom. If you guys noticed, this truck right here has a very hard time stopping. You guys notice that? Let me know down in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. So we need something over here. I thought I had floaters on one of these. Looks like I don't. All right, well, I want the one with front singles then. What do we have over there? We have a seven series? We do have a seven series. Ah, I don't want it though. Take this, back this out. There we go, that's good. I do really enjoy these ADARs, the new ones that we've got from Custom Modding. Woo, these are nice. If you haven't downloaded it, you gotta get it. These are the mod to have right now. We've got around here somewhere a plow. Now I gotta find that. Let's see. Looks like it's on the other side of all the horse equipment. We do have a bunch of horse equipment. Oh no no! It's it's one of those days. I tell you what, it is one of those days. There it is. There's our plow. So we've got a modded horse. Uh, I believe this is like a Pronto 12 or I'm about to find out what is it. The Joker 12 RT Plow Ultimate. An ultimate on it, so you know it's one of ours. There we go. Now that is a nice rig. This is going to work perfect for us. So I noticed that traffic was off, so I made sure to turn that on. However, okay, now we're starting to see cars now. I was about to say, uh, I've been driving around for a hot minute now, since the beginning of the episode, and I saw no cars. But that's good. We got them back now. Let's hang it right, right here, right by the animal dealer. I did drop the front nose down. I just think it looks good with that nose dropped all the way down. And there goes another sign. You guys remember we used to hit every single sign on this map way back in the day it's been a minute it has been a hot minute let's go and get this plowed up drop down let's go in we need to buy this land so 14 purchase 15 oh yeah 16 you know it and 17 ah oh, yeah that was expensive <laughs> that's not too cheap was a half a million dollars for all that land goodness yep here is going to be the interesting part because we're trying to you know what just create the field don't even care we'll, we'll plow up just a little bit on the edges it'll be okay now, one good thing about this mod right here is we can go super fast with it as well if you guys want this in your own pc there's a link down in the description below to my uh, google drive you can go and check that out for yourself and you'll be able to get this actually be able to get this whole rig depending on what you download, of course. So, we got a little bit of work to do. Let's get all this plowed up. Almost done now. I think we've got about one more pass, something like that. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. And then we're going to have to come through and lime this. We're going to have to lime it 
and then and only then can we come back. We may also cultivate it. I'm, I'm kind of back and forth about should we cultivate this or not because you can direct drill right into the ground. I mean, we're going to be planting wheat. So it's nice and easy. It's a good crop. Uh, makes good amount of money. And the seed to fertilizer ratio isn't too bad, which is nice. It's kind of just a neutral, generic, ta-da. I love it. Wheat is good. Wheat is very good. Let's finish this up here. One more pass. Can we do this in one more pass? Let's see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, well, yeah. Not that best. Easy. Too easy. Give me something hard. There we go. All right. We got that pulled up now. Let's head back over. Let's get ourselves something to spread lime with. We'll come back over and get this finished. For this one, we're going to take over the 6R. I think that is the best tractor for the job. The smallest tractor for the job anyway. Some jobs don't need a humongo tractor. The unfortunate part right now is we may have forgot to get something to spread lime with or fertilizer for that matter. So we're gonna have to buy something. Now, I do have a modded version of something I would really like to use. I love it. I need to make another one, just a different brand so that we quit using the same thing over and over again. But it's so awesome. Also, that is linked in the Google Drive below as well. Fertilizer technology, we're gonna go over to this one right here. We'll hold one, was that one million or 100,000? That is 100,000 liters right there. Will brand, let's see, let's go with Michelin's. And let's stick some wide tires on there. That's what I'm talking about. Purchase that. Price ain't too bad. Now, it is 100,000 liters. So, in order to get through that, I say we take a multi-filling station, which we've got one of right here. As a matter of fact, we should put... No, let's definitely not put one on the road. That That's not going to be a very good idea. Let's put it like right here. Right here on the farm. It's perfect, it's kind of out of the way, roughly. Boom, right there. Let's grab this, let's go down, fill it up. I can't even begin to describe to you how much this is gonna cost. This is gonna be ridiculous. Let's go and get it unloaded or unfolded. Pull through here. Uh, yeah, we were about right on it, it's all right. We'll back right in. Right there, good. Lime. Oh, we're gonna be sitting here a minute. This is going to be expensive. 24,749. So that's not terrible. It's, it's about a quarter of what it... Actually, yeah, that's not bad at all. That's yeah, about a quarter. That's good. That's good. $250 per thousand liters, somewhere around there. That's about right. So I did look, not the entire field needs fertilizer, or needs lime. Not the whole thing. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. The whole field does not need liming. However, we are going to give the whole field lime. I mean, heck, we got enough in here, don't we? Pull up to the field, boom out, so we can see everything. Go ahead and set that cruise control, and go. So because we're gonna be doing this entire field ourselves, we're gonna be able to see from left to right everywhere that this is hitting. Are we getting too much overlap? Are we not getting too much overlap? Plus, because of the size of the field, I think that we're gonna be able to do this in like four passes. I, that may even be too much. We might be able to do this in like three passes. Only time's gonna tell on this one though. I may have overestimated a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is gonna take two passes. Yeah, back, back and forth if you consider that maybe four passes, but we've already done, I guess what you would consider the headland of lime. And we have, yeah, well, you can see how much there is left. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do more than one pass there, but just a little smidge, just a little bit. Now, this is okay. I do like this. Here's the start, or the second half of the second pass. Yeah, yeah, we're almost done. And we are done. The entire field has been limed. Some of it has been fertilized already because we plowed under some fields. So, Fertilization is going to be very nice and very easy. We're going to head back. We will need a big tractor to pull what we're about to use. My favorite thing about going overkill is the whole overkill part of it. Gimme, give, gimme. Give ha ha. Something I haven't tried yet is filling this up with seed and fertilizer. Is it even going to work? Let's see. All right. Filling up seeds. Is that the front part? That is the front part. What if we pull forward a little bit? Nope. What if we close and open? Nope, we need to reset the trigger. So let's go ahead, reset the trigger. 
boom, just like that. Pull up, maybe we can fill up with fertilizer now. Nope, still saying seeds. Huh. I wonder. Can we not fill up with fertilizer from this thing? Maybe it just needs to be the first trigger that it sees. Fertilizer, there we go. That's totally in the right place, right? Oh yeah. Whew, we about just got hit by the train. That would have been very bad. Let's go and get this unfolded. We've got wheat selected, so that's good. Boom, 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 12 meters. Oh, it's nice. Now the thing is, if this will work perfectly with it, what I might do is come back through and try to use the six or the uh, eight series as well. If this goes almost straight to 24, then we'll do that. However, if it stays below that, I'll know, okay, it just can't do it, can't handle it. Right now I'm seeing even with 600 and some horsepower, we're not making our total speed. So with 450, we definitely would not be making our top speed up here. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're going to be making it. Not at all. So again, wheat is going in. We will have to do one fertilization state to most of the field once everything has been planted and taken care of. Uh, but until then, this is the easy part. This is definitely, definitely the easy part. After messing around a bit, I have noticed that the 9RT that we have up here is, is doing just fine, slipping a little bit. It's exactly what's going on, slipping a little bit, because as you know, in Farming Simulator 19, tracks slip a bit. And that's why I'm not a big fan of tracks. Now, it's funny, with the ground response, tracks should be doing better. However, tracks are not better at all. Tracks are actually worse. So we're going to get this moved out of the way. About right there, that'll work. We're going to jump in. Oh, now that's a good looking picture right there. I like that. I take too many like that already, though. Let's get this pulled around here and get hooked up. Dual zone it, dual zone here. I think we're going to do just fine. There we go. Drop it down into the ground, turn it on, and let's move. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 14, 15, 16. Gotta love some fast farming. Going past it, going past it. Come on, past 24. Yep. Totally worth it. Going up the hills a bit slower. I am watching the wheels right now for any slippage, but I'm not I'm not seeing any. The wheels actually look pretty good. Let me know, do you guys prefer wheels or do you prefer tracks? Oh, here we go, we're going up the hill now. Gotta watch them, make sure there's no slipping going on. Easy way to tell is if they, for some reason, just take off, like and then go back and appear that they've slowed down. These look good. I think these are making really good contact with the ground, and I think we're doing just fine. So let's boom back out so that we're not missing so much because we're wasting a lot of area right now. Oh, but we don't want to waste too much. There we go. Yeah, speaking of, we've missed a few little bits here and there. I'm not too worried about it. Get out of here, birds. Yeah, nice. All right, let's finish this field because we still have some more work to do after we finish this. Well, as you can see, we are getting close to finishing up here. I'm trying to straddle the center as much as I can, but I think I'm gonna have to start following along to the left right here. Yep, starting to spread out just a bit. That is totally okay as well. Totally okay. Let's rock along again. Just a little bit more to go here. And then we need to run over. We've got some grass that needs to be collected. We did a couple bales, which I'm not proud of to, by any means, shape, or form, but we did a couple bales, and, and it's been mentioned, well, maybe we should just go ahead and finish the bales. We'll get a little bit more money for them than we would if it was just loose grass. And we don't need loose grass. We can do everything with hay. So we may go ahead and get those finished baling up. We do have a pretty sweet baler that we can use for that. And we've got a really nice collector as well where we can auto collect all of the bells and make that happen. So that may be what we do. We shall see. All done. Fold it up and let's head home. So you probably wouldn't want to bail with rear dual zone. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, but it just seems like a bit of a waste. So we're going to do it. Yeah. We've got the 6R series right here with rear duals. And uh, we've got a, well, a heck of a baler, I tell you what, we have a heck of a baler. 
What we're going to do is we're going to run around. We've got some bales here that we've done already. This was way back when, when we had our Let's Play series on here. Let's see if we can open these up a little bit. Go ahead and fold it down. Yep, and turn it on. Now we've got some grass. This should be a little bit easier. Hopefully get some of this grass done quickly. We're just gonna make a bunch of bales, a bunch of grass bales. We can go 18 miles per hour, so that is good. Uh, we do have some grass in the... <laughs> not really sure why there's grass in the woods, but hey, there's grass in the woods. So we're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this entire field bailed up, and then we're just gonna sell the, the grass bales. I have no reason to keep these, none whatsoever. Uh, we do have some trees in the way as well, so we are gonna have to come through with the brooks and get some of that done as well. You guys are gonna see... Uh, if you haven't seen it already, you're gonna see some tree removal over on Peterville and it was a very very rough episode but I hope you guys enjoy that one none the same but we're definitely gonna have to come through here and I think there's some areas that we're gonna have to smooth out and then replow up because this field is an absolute wreck it's a nice field for grass but Eh, there's a bunch of trees in the way. Not really a big fan of that. So we'll have to get that done as well. I'm looking at all this grass at the end and I know that grass is from the uh, the Chrome Big M 450. However, what I'm trying to figure out is why it's the color that it is. You see it's this, it's not actually fully grown. But I'm trying to figure out exactly what that color and what's going on with it. Because it's definitely not a full grown grass sprig sprig yeah that, why not go with it so if you guys have any ideas let me know because this is that's okay you know it may just be the direction i'm looking at it to be honest with you it may just be the way that the sun is hitting it i may be used to seeing it on other maps could be i don't i don't know all right so we've got let's see as many bills as we can get through there let's go ahead and turn this on and go back and forth through here a couple times and we'll go ahead and get these bells finished up. And the great thing too is right over the hill, right in front of us, is the bell sell point, which is awesome. So that's gonna make getting the bells sold and the transportation time between point A and point B much, much smaller. Because we don't have to go too far, I'm not gonna take both of these trailers. Yes, it, uh, yes, it would be easier, but we're not gonna worry about that. There we go, I say easier. Especially getting in there trying to sell those bales? No, that's not gonna be easy at all. We gotta think about the, the paint job on here. So we went with the black bed on it. And of course, yellow wheels, green sides. I feel like you almost have to. If you're gonna rock a John Deere farm, you got to rock it as hard as you can. So let's rock through here. Let's get some of these bales pulled up. And I think we're gonna get quite a few bales. I'm gonna toss into a speedy. We're gonna get all this done at once. And there we go. That is everything right there. Let's go ahead and close that up so nothing happens. Come into here, we're gonna unload just onto the trailer itself. Unload, yes please, drop it down, and then we'll pull through here. See how much we made today. Boom, 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 and boom. Let's pop in, where are the analytics at? Let's see, sold bales, $38,000. I know we had one hay bale. I don't know how in the world it got in there, but we had one hay bale in there for some reason. Guess the grass dried up or something. Who knows? So let's get this put back. Let's put everything away. And I think we're... Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. And if you have an idea for a future video, let me know. At least for right now, this is going to be the end of this mini-series, if you will, back on Ravenport. Just revisiting, revamping, putting some new mods on here, taking care of some things, getting animals kind of situated the way that I always wanted them to be. So, with all that being said, 
hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.